Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing all all right tonight. Hope you're peaceful and you're loved and you're protected. Tonight is Isaiah 47, 1 through 15. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground with a throne, without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called the tender and the delicate. Take the milestones and grind flour. Put off your veil, strip off your robe, uncover your legs, pass through the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered, and your disgrace shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence, and go into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans. For you shall no more be called the Mistress of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people, I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand, you showed them no mercy. On the aged you made your yoke exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be mistress forever, so that you did not lay these things to your heart or remember their end. Now therefore hear this, you lover of pleasures who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. I shall not sit as a widow or know the loss of children. These two things shall come to you in a moment. In one day, the loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure. In spite of your many sorceries and the great power of your enchantments, you felt secure in your wickedness. You said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray, and you said in your heart, I am, and there is no one besides me. But evil shall come upon you, which you will not know how to charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you, for which you will not be able to atone. And ruin shall come upon you suddenly, of which you know nothing. Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries, with which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you, those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at new moons make known what shall come upon you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal for the warming of oneself is this. No fire to sit before. Such to you are those with whom you have labored, with who have done business with you from your youth. They wander about, each in their own direction. There is no one to save you. Now here's the case in point. Today God had me go out to the local food pantry with my son and my dog. Once I arrived, they already had my information from where I lived over two months ago, in a town 45 minutes away. I thought to myself, how is this possible as I have not been there before? After my new address was put into this system, I was directed to a nice lady who took me to get the groceries. As we talked, she asked me, have we been helpful to you? I replied, yes, thank you. After this, a nice gentleman came to me with some pastries, letting me know they had been tainted. As I was leaving, I thanked them all and I blessed them. Next, my aunt Next, my father had me go to Walmart on East State Street in Rockford, Illinois for a USB drive to put the court evidence against my aunt, her daughter, and her daughter's son for court on Thursday. As I went back to electronics, I was immediately followed by roughly 10 people looking to intimidate me and take up my time. They did this by rushing the attendant with questions, which prevented her from opening the display case for the USB. While I stood there patiently waiting, and while dancing to the music playing, the oppressors kept walking directly in front of me, saying loudly, Excuse me. As you know by now, I'm never intimidated by anything. Not even when one man came by, then said, Excuse me, Pat. That's my birth name. With his head down. Not being able to look at me. And mind you, I know not one person here besides family that I do not talk to. 
Half of these people had been nice to me, telling me to take care, and wishing me the best. They now know that no matter what they do, they will not escape what God has come for them all. No one will escape from God's vengeful wrath for what they have done to the innocent of God. They cannot escape the fire that will consume them all, both in this life and after death. Anyone who has labored alongside them in their endeavors shall fall with them. There is not one person who can save them now. God's innocent will be redeemed. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, truth, forgiveness, salvation, favor, anointing, steadfastness, faithfulness, clarity, truth, trust, and corrections be with you, always guiding you through. I love you all. Peace be with you. God be with you. Have a great night.